Are you a fan of comic books, sci-fi, or fantasy? If so, how much? Well, it's that time of year again. The Fan Expo rolls back into town, and we've got all the craziness covered, and a few familiar faces as well. Stars. Stars. And more stars. It seems everywhere you go, you're bound to run into one of your favorites. This man truly needs no introduction. You know him from The Goonies and Lord of the Rings. Sean Astin, how are you? I am most excellently well, thank you. How are you, sir? I am doing amazing. Now, this is quite the event. What brings you to the Fan Expo Vancouver this year? You know, I, I go to these things occasionally. I was just at a, uh, a comic book convention in Dubai. And seeing as I've made several movies and a television show in Vancouver, when I was invited to come, I, I jumped at the chance. It's beautiful all the way around. And why do you think the Fan Expo does so well? What do you think is the secret to the success of the show? The show that I started up here was, uh, was a science fiction fantasy show, and uh, a science fiction show, and I did a Kurt Vonnegut movie in Toronto. I think the Canadian people love fantasy, sci-fi, uh, comic book themes. It just brings people out, something to do for the weekend. You have played so many different characters, had an amazing career. What would you say has been your favorite role so far in Hollywood, and why? I would say that my favorite role in Hollywood is whatever the next one is. <laughs> um, favorites are impossible to answer. Everybody wants to know the favorite. I don't have a favorite. Goonies, Rudy, Lord of the Rings, those are the three that I'm most known for. Rudy, of course, an American football movie. Fifty First Dates was really fun for me. Um, 24 was a great one. I, you know. What is next for you? What's next in your career? Well, I just did a pilot, television pilot, called Surgeon General um, with Jason Isaacs, who's Valdemar in uh, the Harry Potter movies, and he plays the Surgeon General of the United States, and I play the mental health director, and we're just waiting in the next couple weeks, we'll find out whether we get picked up. So um, I may be doing a series or nothing. It just depends. Sean Astin, thank you so much thank for joining you. us hey, today. Hey, Sean Astin, everybody. I just want to say that I love this country. I'm here with the very talented Billy Campbell. Billy, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. Tell me, what brings you to Fan Expo Vancouver? Um, I'm uh, good buddies with uh, Victor Lucas, who started the whole thing. Uh, and uh, so he asked me if I wouldn't come sit at the booth for a while, which I'm happy to do. And uh, yeah, that's the story. I'm here with the incredible Hulk and his wife. Cousin. This is the uber mutant zombie from uh, Zombie Combat Zone. A immersion experience of a paintball apocalypse. And do you have anything to say? Ah! Oh! <laughs> I, think, I think he's hungry. <laughs> oh God. Eat the microphone, just don't eat me. <laughs> Right here. Okay. Because he is the evil one, I will protect you. He'll he'll protect me. This is a Skeletor. Okay, that's good. It's, that's the beauty of, of Fan Expo is it's not just one genre. It's it's pop culture. It's comics. It's horror. It's science fiction. It's celebrity autographs, but it's also uh, the community groups like the 501st and the Ghostbusters. It's the Artist Alley. It's the it's the retailers. It's all the great folks, the local companies like EP Daily and so on. It's the, it's that combination of the whole fan experience. With its shopping, panels, workshops, and of course celebs, Fan Expo Vancouver has delivered another successful year. For more information on the next expo, you can check out fanexpocanada.com. For Local Connection, I'm Clayton Timko.